Good morning, good morning. Today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is Pastor Phil with your morning meditation. Once again, the strength of silence, the strength of silence. Yesterday we were talking about uh, spending 15 minutes a day for the next 10 days in silence before the Lord. Um, I want to read a little scripture for you uh, found in Isaiah 30 and 15. It says, For thus says the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest you shall be saved. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. In quietness and trust shall be a man your strength. I love that. In quietness and trust shall be your strength. Um, uh, the, um, in the Bible, in Isaiah 7, 9, it speaks of um, uh, the head of Ephraim is Samaria, and the head of Samaria is the son of Remalia. If you do not stand firm in faith, you shall not stand at all. Wow, we have to, we must strengthen our faith, and our faith is strengthened through the power, through the word, uh, the power of the word of God. Um, these lines in Isaiah 30, 15 uh, constitute one of the most uh, important affirmations of the prophet Isaiah in the 8th century BC. Uh, both Isaiah 7, 9 and this text urge us to be completely reliant upon God. That's why we need to spend time in silence with God. 15 minutes. Hopefully you spent your 15 minutes yesterday and and, and as you get used to this, you'll spend longer time because you will actually realize that you are in the presence of God. Now, when you come to that time of silence, don't expect anything. Um, don't expect, well, and this is, let me say it like this. It, have great expectations of God, but don't. Uh, try to preconceive what God will do. Let's say it like that. Don't try to preconceive what God will do. Just trust him. Um, many times we always want to do what we want to do. And so uh, that causes us to posture and to uh, we always want to help God. Well, I'm going to, we don't consciously say that, but we do in a way say it in our minds. I'm going to just help God. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Allow God to lead you. That's why you must spend that time in silence listening to him. Come before him with a clean slate so that you can hear him. Don't do, you know, when I say silence, I'm not talking about waiting for God to speak, thinking about what you're going to say or thinking about what you're going to do. Many times when people speak with us, that is what we do. We don't listen to people, but we're just waiting for them to stop so that we can say what we're going to say. And we need to stop and listen to God in complete silence. That means you have to silence yourself on the inside. And when those little thoughts come in your mind, chase them out, listen to the Lord. Make sure you're listening to the Lord. A lot of times we have to listen with our Bibles open, amen. But we cannot trust in ourselves. We cannot trust in our um, alliances with other people. We cannot trust in um, our armaments. That's actually an act of mistrust and it's idolatry and it only leads to ill will. It only leads to destruction. The assurance of faith is the conviction 
that our self-securing does not work in this in the real world. The phrase in that scripture, it says, in returning and rest you shall be saved. That's an affirmation that faith is a quiet confidence, which is the decision is decisive for being safe and well in the world. That quiet confidence is in God. Our faith, Jesus tells us, have faith in God. If you have faith in God, not faith in what we can do, but if you have faith in God, you can say to this mountain, be thou removed and cast into the sea, and it shall be done whatsoever you say it. But you must have faith. You must forgive others. You must have a holy character, a holy nature. Line yourself up with God. This is what it means to be in the kingdom, in this silence. In this silence. Allow yourself to be adjusted into the kingdom of God. Wow. And... This verse has the same effect as Psalm 46 and 10. Be still and know that I am God. We're often these days, we're frantic. We're running here and there, to and fro, this way and that way, to secure our finances, our job prospects, our children's futures. But instead, God calls us to be quiet before him. Be still. And know, enter into relationship with him, that I am God. Enter into the kingdom in quietness and in trust. And that is where we find our strength, the strength of silence. Meditate on Isaiah 30 and 15 today and see how they speak into your life. Amen. God bless you. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for your blessing. We thank you for the strength that you give us in silence before you and being still before you. says in returning and rest, in repentance and quietness and rest, we will be saved and, and in trust. Our trust in you, O oh God, will be our strength. Strengthen us today. Strengthen our trust in you. Lord, secure us tightly to you and onto you that we may be strengthened. We'll be careful to give you all praise, glory, and honor, not just with our mouths, but most especially with our lives, our obedience, and our behavior. In the name, nature, and character of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Bless you all. It's good to see you all out there this morning. Um, spend those 15, spend 15 minutes today with God in silence, in silence, in silence. Be quiet before him. Be still and know that he is God. God bless you and keep you. Remember, Pastor Phil loves you, but God loves you infinitely more. Be blessed. Take care.